Welcome to the best list. And today we're counting down our picks for the top high school lesbian movies and TV shows. Before we get into the video, YouTube hasn't been recommending our videos lately. We'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and watch the video until the end. I promise you won't regret it. Number 10, Rebel Cheer Squad. Rebel Cheer Squad is a British teen thriller series that premiered on BBC follows a trio of cheerleaders at a Bosch private school, revive their formal classmates and the bullying club, and team up to fight injustice in that scene trailer. It's a drama slash mystery. Tum to jaldi aa gaye. Okay. Pata hai isse zyada perfect kis ho hi nahi sakti. Number 9. Astrid and Lily save the world. You know the the last time I remember actually being happy was when I was a kid. When we were friends, you know, now everyone just expects me to be this cool, confident person. It's exhausting. High school is hard enough when you're different, but when outcast BFFs Astrid and Lily accidentally crack open a portal to a terrifyingly quirky monster dimension, it gets a lot more complicated. It's up to them to vanquish the creepy creatures and save the world, becoming the badass heroes they were meant to be. That is, if they can survive the horrors of high school, you know what I would have voted you? Hmm. Easiest to talk to. Um. Screw it. Number eight, the most beautiful flower. Hola, soy Mitch. Soy fabulosa. Soy popular. Okay, okay, todavía no soy todo eso. The show follows Mitch, a very confident girl that wants to be popular and is showing everything to hang out with the cool kids. Mitch, she ends up meeting a girl that does not care about popularity at all and they end up developing a relationship slash friendship as well. And Mitch you know embarks on this new journey of unexpected love that she was not prepared or even never imagined of having. At the beginning it was kind of difficult for them to get on the same board and just to navigate friendships and relationships as well, but I'm happy that they figured it out and if they also have a happy ending. Nunca vas a ser como yo. Tienes razón. Voy a ser mejor. Number 7. Crush. I mean, what, can, can you imagine what suddenly we're, we're hardcore making out? Mm, that just sounds, come on, really crazy. Crush is a coming-of-age film directed by Sammy Cohen. Exploring queer relationships and coming-of-age. In a school setting, Crush follows talented young Paige, dreaming of becoming an artist. She is furious to be told that she must join her school's track team. However, she soon sees the chance to finally win over her crush and her plans go awry when she unexpectedly falls for another teammate and sees a possibility for love. Do me a favor and try to get old Paige here to loosen up a little bit. Now I have to become an athlete, make the perfect thing for Cal Arts, and pick the right girl. I haven't kissed anyone. I don't know how to kiss. Yeah, you're probably a terrible kisser. You need to teach me. No. What? Teach what? Me. Ew. No means no, Paige. Come on. Is it root vegetable season? Because it's turn up time. I'm learning that when it comes to art. You took the liberty of washing your sex toy. By the way, this is very small. It could totally get lost up there. Well, that's an eraser, so that's not gonna go up there. Anything's possible. Number six, do revenge. I spent 17 years meticulously curating the perfect life. Do Revenge is a teen black comedy film directed by Jennifer Catton Robinson, tackling the tropes of a classical high school drama. While never taking itself too seriously, Do Revenge follows two young women who each seek their own good old revenge. With a drastic and thorough plot, the very different girls don't realize that their very worst enemy is right in front of them. Don't you want to make her pay? I don't want to make her pay. I want to burn her to the ground. Whoa. <laughs> we should team up and do each other's revenge. Love. Let's start with Carissa. She'll be a cinch. I can ruin her in my sleep. Why will Carissa be easy? It is much easier to destroy a girl. Carissa, right? We've met before. You called me a human Birkenstock. Cool. <sighs> Number 5. 
Number five, graduation present plus propose. 선배, 친구들 있잖아. 아니 그게 아니고요. 뭐야? 저랑 선물이야. 아 진짜? 선배. Minnie Hai prepares graduation gifts for her crush Chief Young. Minha's graduation gives these two cans of beer. Minha, who is drunk for the first time, gets unexpected return from Ji Young. And it's actually a short film in this case, so you know it's short, it's straight to the point. It's there's not a lot of going around, you know, around the bushes, it's like straight to the point and just getting to where they need to get. So I wanted to include this one because I feel like it's very underrated, and just hopefully by doing this video, it will, you know, it will get a little bit more of exposure. Number four, Control Z. No pasa con nadie. Qué chido que te sientas así. When a hacker begins realizing students' secrets to the entire school, the society is elate, but overseas Sophia works to undercover the hacker's identity. There is a lesbian storyline that developed on the show between Maria and Claudia. They look super good together. Number three, the fallout. Let's say this, let's say you die tomorrow. Okay. And what if you die sad because you regret not saying what you wanted to say? Then what? The Fallout is a 2021 America drama film. It follows a high school student who never gets significant emotional trauma, following a school traumatic experience that she had to live. The Fallout is a film about the unseen faces of a tragedy. Those who can't turn their pain into affecting positive change in the world because they are too afraid to leave their bedrooms. Three teenagers form a unique and dynamic bond as they navigate the never linear, often confusing journey to heal in a world that feels forever changed. Number two, Ginny and Georgia. Hey, yeah, you wanna make out? What? You wanna make out? Abiel, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Angsty, awkward 15 year old Ginny Miller, often feels more mature than her 30 year old mother. The irresistible, dynamic Georgia Miller, after years on the run, Georgia desperately wants to put down roots in picturesque New England and give her family something they've never had, a normal life. But it's not all carpool and kambyaka, Georgia's past threatens her and her family's new lifestyle, and Georgia will do anything to protect her family. You're incredible, Max. Do you want me to help you get out of this? May I kiss you? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. Number one, atypical. I really like you. Yeah, in this moment, but in 10 minutes, you might be embarrassed by me or kissing some random guy. Just leave me alone. Atypical has been praised in the past for being part of a larger gay and lesbian media revolution, as it highlights just what it means to come out during adolescence. From Casey's relationship with Izzy, it's clear that the two are struggling to find themselves through their sexuality and figure out what being gay truly means to them. As teenagers, emotions run high, and there is still a lot for Casey to figure out. Casey experiences her first heartbreak with her boyfriend, as she leaves him to be with Izzy but becomes heartbroken again from Izzy later on. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Newton. What?